When last we left our brave and stalwart investigators, if I recall correctly, you had successfully arranged a um a, a an alliance between I do not remember the changeling's name. Uh Chaya. Chaya. And um but up Chaya Pat. And uh god damn it. I can't remember her name. Uh and Surter. Surter. Uh, in exchange for half of his nightclub, uh, in, like in exchange for giving her a place to live at the half of the nightclub of his that isn't going very well, you can burn down the Ragnarok Club uh, without too much interference. And in doing so, uh, uh, Sifo is going to oversee their uh, their 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 contract signing. Um, you may wish to participate. It is not required of you. Yeah. <sighs> I'm concerned about all of this. What what could possibly concern you about uh, uh, about doing favors for a dangerous maniac? We are. I sense that she's anticipated that we would find the least harmful way of carrying out her wishes. So what is it that she's getting out of it besides us getting used to following her commands? I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't like meddling in the political affairs of supernaturals in the city, but we don't have a choice. I think what she gets out of it is possibly sway with the Camarilla when we rescue the people that have been taken. She gets to say how much she helped us accomplish this. Oh, uh, I'm not talking about Sartar. Oh. Oh, you're talking about the, uh, the one on the phone, right, yes. No, she still thinks that she is, uh, with every bit of information she gives us, swaying us to her side. She views us as disciples. She's also delusional, but that's beside the point. Is it delusion, or is it the truth? Unless how, far she... will, how far will we go? I think that we should consider very carefully what information we ask with this question. I feel that a third task will cross our lines more and more. I agree. We didn't get much from that first question. We got... We got enough. Just knowing his weaknesses, well, that's just one of them. It might help if it comes down to a to, to hand-to-hand -hand brawl with him, but we still have to deal with the others. From that information, I was able to get a bit more. I spoke with the librarian at the prince's house and was able to through her knowledge. The entire group of them are slashers <clears throat> of various I've, types. Um, Amir has mentioned has mentioned these to me. I haven't I've <clears throat> I've felt the presence of beings like this. Um uh, Kali's Raiders has very limited knowledge of slashers. Okay. Uh, that being said, Easter, you gr your group might know more, but you don't know it. And okay. Holmes, your uh, Null Mysteries uh, knows quite a bit. And Task Force Valkyrie, Yusuf, they know a lot. Unfortunately, that's all above your clearance, quite naturally. Um, the only thing that I, I would say is that, that um, Alexandra's sort of origin and hobbies would could possibly tie into like that type of stuff. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like you, you do know of them, but Amir right. doesn't know much. Like, okay. 
how it is they're able to do what they do. What What's the difference between someone who is mentally ill and someone who is a rabid killer? Like... He, he he stands by that they are not the same thing. Like, someone with depression is not necessarily, like, a, a deadly risk. But something about yeah. slashers makes them deadly. They're, t they're tainted by the worm. That's a, that's a fantastic <laughs> theory, Alex. Uh, 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 the, the, Alex isn't asking a question. She's just saying, they're tainted by the worm. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Duh. Oh boy. I'm definitely going to need to put in a drone order <laughs> if we plan to fight them openly. Interesting. The librarian suggested that they don't usually work together like this. It's this group of them all focused on one task is very rare and a volatile arrangement. If we can figure out how to break a link in that chain, they, the entire operation falls apart. Well, people like this have ego. And something that can be effective is taking... Hmm. When people are regarded as muscle, they're often disregarded. Um, and they feel that. Unless they have intense loyalty, they feel that. And they hate that on some level. And that can be used. Um, muscle can be very dangerous to the people who employ it. Are you suggesting trying to sway one of the muscle men? in the group it's possible if they feel the contempt if they feel the disregard and but we don't know how they're bound to them we don't know if there is control i'm uh, not entirely sure that these are the kind of people that feel things like that hmm. or feel anything at all well they feel something they probably feel something that is so pure and intense that they don't feel anything else besides that. These are all very important questions, and it just so happens that you have a repository of answers. We do. And she has promised to answer honestly. They are not free. No. And we still have arson to do. Holmes, what's your take on this? Derek, you can make an intelligence and science roll if you wish. Sounds good. Let's see here. Just science? Uh, intelligence and science. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. That is two successes. Sounds good. Um, you know of slashers um, that they do experience aberrant and yet somewhat predictable uh, psychological conditions. Mm -hmm. um, they all have different rules uh, and if you can figure out what those rules are 
they present uh, weaknesses. Okay. Uh, and you also are aware of the types. Oh, excellent. There are five different kinds of slashers, and then there are five ways in which they get worse. Uh, so there's uh, the Avenger, the Brute, the Charmer, the Freak, and the Genius. And then those can turn into the Legend, the Mask, the Psycho, the Mutant, and the Maniac. Oh, boy. Um, and you basically know about how each of them functions. Like, you understand that an Avenger is someone who has been hurt, and they want to hurt someone back, and a legend is the advancement of that, and that sort of cry for revenge creates a larger-than-life figure, even in their own mind, which somehow, by some freak of circumstance, is able to perform feats that would be considered impossible for humans. Okay. Uh... Would, would, like, Candyman be considered a legend? Candyman sort of... is considered a legend. It is one of the examples. Nice. And, like, the things that Candyman are capable of are strictly within... aren't necessarily strictly within the realm of possibility. But you know more about the world and the magic of po that is inherent in it that leads you to believe, oh, this is certainly possible. But how it is that they're accomplishing this simply by 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 dint of their legendary status is unknown uh there's the brute who seems to be able to turn anything into a weapon and the mask which refuses to die uh oh, what can the charmer do if i recall correctly charmers have a method of disarming people uh, figuratively speaking, not literally. So, uh, they used John Doe from Seven as one of them too, right? Yes, John Doe from Seven is a maniac. Maniac, okay. Um, uh, there it is, the mask and the knife. Let me remember exactly what the charmers do. Yes, charmers uh, have a disarming ability, which generally can keep someone open to an attack. Uh, it, it It's some sort of, it's not something that you can, like, it's not something that you can physically or psychologically fight against. It's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a mind hack. It uses body language. It, it uses the precise body language that causes people to calm down and open themselves up. Um, whereas psychos go a step further and have the ability to uh, create deadly distractions. So would you consider Hannibal a charmer? Uh, Hannibal is not a charmer. Hannibal or is he a, like a mastermind? Hannibal is a genius. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Uh, like, Hannibal can't disarm someone with his words, but his words are so compelling that you feel like you have to listen. Gotcha. <clears throat> and John does um, the level up because Hannibal's still sort of real world in some ways, whereas John Doe's ability to manipulate people goes beyond any reasonable level. Right. Gotcha. What's in the box? Et cetera, et cetera. And, <laughs> like, it, 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 John Doe's ability to foresee what is going to happen and have uh, uh, have contingencies in place is insane. Uh, the, other, the other listed example for Maniacs is Jigsaw. Like, if you look at any... Of, Jigsaw, yep. Yeah, if you watch any of the Saw movies, you're like, how could he have known? But if you accept that it was written that way. <laughs> right. If you accept that Jigsaw is a little magical, well, that just cleans everything up. Jigsaw read the script. He read the fucking script, and he knows what's going to happen. Uh, and then there are <laughs> freaks. Uh, so freaks, 
uh, because they uh, because they generally have to stay inside because something about them looks so fucked up. They learn a lot about their lairs, an awful lot. Um, they take no penalty for terrain, and they can keep track of all the little nooks, crannies, and hidey holes. So, what about Phantom of the Opera? Um, w- would he be a freak then? Yes, the Phantom is a freak because, um, like, he knows all of the little nooks and crannies and hiding places of the um, uh, of of that opera house, and he does not leave it. And then there is the mutant. Uh, mutants uh, have a natural weapon; they're never considered unarmed. Um whether it's sharp teeth, razor claws, uh, bone protrusions, or any number of other things, something about them makes them physically dangerous. Um, And then there is the genius. Oh boy, geniuses are dangerous. Uh, Geniuses can profile people. Um, If a genius gets a profile on you, uh, they, I think they get ninegans on all rolls against you and they always win initiative oh shit and then they can also uh compel you to tell them things you don't want them to know i believe our new friend is a genius uh like our maniac Right, because, like, do you remember, uh, Alexandra, when you revealed the organization you worked for to uh, one of the... The Sphinx. Oh, the Sphinx. The Sphinx. That's what the he did Sphinx? to you. The Sphinx is, right? is a genius, but the, um, the, whatever her name is, she's, she's a maniac. Yeah, Victoria is a maniac. Victor. And Victoria knows so much, and... Once she builds a profile on you, she can start digging into who you are. Uh, Letters, text messages, phone calls. She can devise words and create sentences that can undo you in ways. Uh, Essentially, uh, they uh, they can begin to lower and alter your morality score. Oh fuck! Until it matches hers. Oh wow! <clears throat> so following her script is dangerous, and it seems to be the only known avenue to acquiring more information on on the acquisitions department. Oh boy, we're in trouble. <laughs> Great. And there's only four of you, and there are five of them. Um. That being said, they all do have weaknesses, but unfortunately, Holmes, uh, you weren't checking that part. Yep. It was above your clearance or something. Doesn't yeah. matter. The point is, you were paying attention to the dangerous bits. Those That seems like the important parts. You skipped How Do I Kill It. Oh, actually, does Holmes share this with us? Yes, absolutely. It occurs to me that you're the one who knows this, not us. Uh, I sit this all down, have a nice cup of coffee, and share this information like crazy. Atta boy. Um, you know, every word that spills out of his mouth makes the situation sound worse and worse. You can stop at any time. Oh, right. I should mention what the mask's uh, ability is. Uh, masks have a, super, a, a supernatural ability to resist harm. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. It only deals one point of damage. Oh, nice. Jimmy! It's Jimmy! <laughs> if you fucking put Jimmy into this story, I will shit. I mean, you know who Jimmy works for. <laughs> out of game, you know who Jimmy works for. In game, if you figure that out, oh, make a deal. Oh, oh, oh. That's how I feel inside. 
Unfortunately, you... none of you played a member of the Lucifuge, so it's very unlikely for you to be able to do such a thing. I almost did. Could your um, Discord keep fucking up? I didn't want to be religious. Was the basic thing? Lucifuge sounded pretty, sounded pretty hardcore religious. Um, no, they're not. That's Malleus Maleficarum. Well, but the Lucifuge too. Even though they're they have the the kind of diabolical heritage, they have the you know the, their perspective on it is very Judeo Christian. I mean, so. it's only religious if you believe in it. They don't believe in it. They know it's true. I think that's true. Well, God, you have revealed yourself, and in doing so, you have denied you faith. And without faith, you are nothing. And then he disappears in a puff of obsolescence. <laughs> so if she is one of these maniacs, it sounds as if she's a creature of twisted reason, of a type of logic and... Mm, the ability to use your mind against you. Absolutely. Uh, Alexandra starts um, looking around. We're, we're, we're back at the hotel. Um, I don't hotel. think so. I don't remember exactly where you last left off. We last left off at the vampire's place. Um, yes, you were at the Mad Prince's court, and I dropped the bomb, and everybody started screaming. Yeah. Got it. Uh, that being I, said, you could go from the Mad Prince's court to basically anywhere. I think um, we... uh, so, uh, DM, GM, I, I want to try for a ritual. Um, I want to try for a ritual that, you know, again, talking about spirit, that binds people to who they are, to the core of their themselves. Um, essentially, protection from things that corrupt the spirit. Is that something I could do? That's something you could do. Um but it's going to require some level of what's the word I'm looking for uh, like fetishism like this will be tied to objects um, uh, or, or like a, a part of the body what, be, what became what was a spiritual or mental weakness will become a physical implement a token a totem there's always the reliable crowbar. Does that totem become a weakness in and in and of itself? Yes, if someone absolutely. Else gets it? You can only transfer the weakness from one place to another. Unfortunately, you're not a mind mage. No. And worse yet, uh, uh, werewolf shamans cannot become mind mages. Yep. Too esoteric. I'm going to pick up Prime at some point. Hey. Huh. Oh, I. I might be able. Hmm, I don't really understand some of the things that I can do, but I might be able to do something to hmm, focus our resolve to keep us to ourselves but there's always it may include an implicit weakness will it amplify it? what was that? would it, it amplify existing weakness? it would mm, bring it out so it would give you a focus that would bind you to who you are now um, but that focus itself could be used against you if it if it was discovered or taken away i think that i can do this
It's a risk, but I think it's one worth taking. Well, it is important. Do any of you have any ways of knowing if we're being observed, if we're being uh, monitored? I have a bug checker. That would be our best bet. Do you have want... a bug checker? I do. You, sir. Mm -hmm. You, sir, have been bugged. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Twice. Really, no. Yes. No, they were very thorough. Um, they're both embedded in uh in your in 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 a section of your of your combat kit. Aha. Uh -huh. Removable. Um. Yes. Uh, somebody give me a dexterity and crafts. I'm on Not it. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you get working for the American government. <laughs> All so right. De dexterity and crafts? Yes. Oh, this is fun. I didn't get anything. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, uh, well, I mean, uh, okay. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, Yusuf, what do you have for weapons? I only have the one gun, which is a uh, HK VP9 pistol. Okay. Um, do you have any body armor? I do not. Oh, well then. Uh, uh, so, uh, Easter, you you pull the slide out of, uh, out of the firearm, uh, and you... I don't know enough about guns to tell you what you've broken, but you fucked it. This gun is fucked. <laughs> Shit. Thank you, um, Easter. You broke a series of very small parts, very expensive, very difficult to repair. At this point, it's probably easier to buy it and buy a new one. The only reason oh. you'd repair it is for sentimental values. And if you have sentimental values about a handgun, like... What's wrong with you? <laughs> That usually requires a lower humanity. <laughs> oh, fucking, was that episode from Atlanta? What's your gun's name? What? Yeah, Mike, I don't remember what his name is, what the name of his gun is. He's like, yeah, that's my gun's name. What's your gun's name? Motherfucker, my gun's name is Gun. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I was putting it in order anyway. What was Jane's? I'll replace it. Sorry. You can't replace it. If I don't get it from the armory, it won't fire their rounds. Then I'll buy you dinner. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> and Easter, well, you found the two bugs. They've been smashed. Identifying them will be impossible. But they're no longer a threat. But you are no longer bugged. I, what um, can I say except you're welcome? I, I, hand, uh, <laughs> I hand Yusuf my, a heavy pistol and a silencer. <laughs> Thanks. It doesn't fire their, fire etheric rounds, but it fires lead. That works. The silencer <laughs> appears to be some sort of augmented potato, but let's not worry about it. <laughs> it says a squishy you noise. Squish, squish. Monster, why are you crawling inside of me? Great. <laughs> Uh, but yes, that, uh, that, that, that does that. So now I'm no longer a threat to security. Luke, you turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Yeah, you're now already going to call you soon. <laughs> now I know why they haven't been actually asking me for reports. They don't need to. Well, this is an interesting expedition. 
Uh, everybody make an intelligence and wits roll. Sure. Yeah, I'm good at those. Oh, well, thanks. it's that's a. Actually, I forgot. Alex is smarter than she used to be. Hey. <laughs> I only got one with all those dice. Madness. It's okay, uh, two. Holmes. It's okay, Holmes. You were too busy thinking about slashers. Yeah. Easter. Cool topic, really. If Yusuf just said. His weapons have to be ordered from Valkyrie HQ or do they don't fire Task Force Valkyrie munitions? He did say that. If that bug got into his gun, then that would mean... That would mean... <laughs> that his own guys bugged him? No, 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 that's already clear. That was obvious. Oh, okay. But the oh, okay. other bug, if it belongs to the bad guys, that would mean... That they've got etheric rounds? No, that they've means... Got task... that, that means they're in Task Force Valkyrie. Fuck! Littering and... Littering and... <laughs> littering and... Smoking the reefer. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let us go somewhere where we can have some privacy. Then. Uh, do you guys head back to the Econo Lodge? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys go back to the Econo Lodge. Um, I, I'm sort of just going to fugue out, and it, if I have the sense that I need to get anything from like a local. 7-Eleven or package store or I don't know what, what the appropriate thing here is if it's booze or you know it's just stream of consciousness Alex Alex will will buy the stuff that comes to mind in terms of what she needs you need tobacco none of that no, no cigarettes you need actual tobacco uh, the package stuff you can buy is okay. If you could get some actual raw leaves, that'd be better. But that's probably not going to happen. Mm, I'll ask. I'll ask Easter if she knows. Easter. Uh, Easter. Mm. Do you know where we could find raw tobacco? Make a wits yeah. and streetwise roll. Do I get an identic memory bonus? Oh, never mind. You absolutely know where you can buy tobacco. There's a little smoke shop uh, on uh, Juneteenth Avenue. Problem solved. You guys spend $30 on a large bag of tobacco. Smoking a good time. No, just to rub over the body. I want to use pepper for that. Throws <laughs> off the hounds. Uh, reminds me of one of my favorite reoccurring jokes from Dead Man. Uh, the Native <laughs> American uh, character keeps asking, oh, I can't remember the name, uh, William Blake, if he has any tobacco, and William's only response is, I don't smoke. He keeps <laughs> asking him if he has tobacco because tobacco is a sacrament. And, ah. and and William Blake is dying, so he's like, "Do you have any tobacco so I can help you with your passing?" And because William doesn't understand what he's asking, all he says is, "I don't smoke." Interesting. Like, but they really want to drive that point home. That's a joke they have like four times in the movie, just so that you will look it up later. And like, why the fuck does he keep asking him for tobacco? He knows he doesn't have any. Anyway. Back to the Econo Lodge. Back to the Econo Lodge. Are you guys going to head to shit? What did I name the other nightclub? Oh shit! The Surrender, um, and then there's the Speakeasy. Uh, Karma. Right. Yes. Hey, Club Karma. Uh, do you guys want to go to Karma to check the contract, or is this seem more important? Oh, contract. <laughs> Not just any contract. A fairy contract. I do you want to watch that? You can never know it's until you also see it. like that's so far above our pay grade. This seems more like 
that kind of shit to to go with Alex. Fair enough. Alex, Alex, in terms of, do you, you, if you ask Alex to review a contract, she looks at you blankly. So, I don't mind looking it over. I like the fine print. I live in the fine print. <laughs> I mean, well, you can always no... split up. Alex and Easter can go back to the Econolodge to prepare uh, to prepare the totemic ritual, and Holmes and Yusuf can go to Car- Club Karma and see the contract signing. That's Nothing fun. could ever go wrong if we do that. I think yeah. it's a good idea. Split the party. Split the party. Don't you Sarah know party. to always split the party? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end badly. I can uh, hear the evil smile in your voice. What? So, Holmes and Yusuf, you head to uh, Club Karma. Uh, Chaya and Surtur there are there with uh, one uh, Master Rutsufo. And uh, uh, of, uh like it, it, you guys go in. Uh, the club has been closed for the evening. Um, and as you guys enter, uh, Rutsifo looks to Surtur and says, "Really, moving in here? I thought it would be beneath you." And she says, "There are some things that are worth more than my pride." And Chaya looks at the two of them, and he's like, are you going to sign or not? And uh, Surtur says, well, Rutsifo, I didn't know you could read. Ah. Evening, everyone. Oh, oh, it's you guys. Great. Well, Uh, we figured that we should at least be here. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. Uh... Uh, yep, so if you just, if you sign right here, everything will be A-OK. Uh, but Chai, uh, but Arutsufo and Surtur appear to be more interested in arguing and leveling snipes at each other for a little while. This presents a fantastic opportunity for the two of you to look at the contract in detail, if you wish. Yes, please. I'll let that over. Those who are interested can make an in- intelligence and politics role to read this contract. Absolutely. Maybe Easter's still going after the Cool. Oh, come on. Sound like dice rollers cheap. <laughs> Seriously. All it gives me one success. My condolences, Holmes. Five <laughs> dice. Five dice there were. <laughs> I mean, you can always spend willpower to get three extra. You know, I'm tempted, but my yeah, I, I just see that ending badly for me. <laughs> and it's as good as this is. It's an important contract. Mm. Um, <laughs> Yusuf, you look over the contract. It seems pretty well put together. Um, it uh, it's been written. Um, it. It calls for a medial alliance between the two parties. Um, and it uh, it's a death do us part eternal cursed medial alliance pledge. Aha. Uh-huh. Bit uh, of uh, life insurance. Yes. Uh, so if if either one of them kills the other or lets the other die, uh, they get cursed uh, forever. Damn. Um, that being catch said... Catch a curse. Catch a curse. That being said, Yusuf, hmm. the contract's length of uh, impact is eternal. How long do changelings live? Not forever. How long does a vampire live? Until they're killed. She could potentially be shackled to this building forever unless this contract is changed. Ah. I I will absolutely bring that up. Uh, I I believe that there might be a... um, 
a typo here. I, I know that you wrote this very quickly on such short notice. Um, it appears that the Death Do Us Part sec subsection F down here at the bottom of page four, uh, listed as eternal, meaning that it, I believe, would unfairly weigh the consequences on the longer-lived party. And he uh, looks at Jaya. And she just looks at uh, and he, he looks at her, and he's got a look of shock and surprise on his face. You can give me a uh, wits and subterfuge roll if you think that he is being deceptive. Sure. Why not? Can I swap that to wits and empathy instead for uh, get a bonus on my detecting lies? You may. Uh, only one success. Very well, then. The Reaper's Pledge. Uh, he, he seems to be earnestly, like, shocked that he wrote the contract so clumsily. Um, and he looks down at it. It's like, easily mended, easily mended. We'll just turn it into a lifelong tool death to his park. That's what it should have been anyway. I'm so sorry. I just, you know, I just don't want anyone to get fucked over. And she's like, yes. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Um, no problem at all. I know you've been stressed recently. Oh, <laughs> you can bet, buddy. <laughs> um, and they all sign their names on the dotted line in blood. Yeah. As and, is tradition. As is tradition. And then there is a confluence of, like, weird power. Uh, uh, Holmes, you get a nosebleed. Yusuf, you get a headache. Cool. <laughs> the structure right. shakes for a brief moment and uh, Chaya is suffused with glamour and his skin returns to uh, turns to something that is more conventional. He looks more human. Ah. Ah. Cool. <sighs> Enjoy your wing, Master Surter. And she's like, I will. And that's that. I suppose that uh, well, you, you still have to burn the club down. We should <laughs> reconnect with the others before we go committing any act of arson. Surter looks at you and says, would you prefer I burn it down? It doesn't matter to me. She probably would love to do it too. <laughs> I think that that would be most appropriate. Give it a proper send-off. Does it meet the letter of the uh, uh, of our request? It's not necessarily. It, it wasn't necessary that you do it. Only that the club be burned down. Ah, uh, yes. Like it. It. She wasn't saying you have to do it. It's if you want more information, this has to be done. Cool. You have to make it happen. The instrument is entirely up to us. Exactly. It. it what matters is that the club burns. Um, and the bug that you had is gone, so someone's being denied of information right now. Fun. Uh, Donut. Donut. So Surtur gets her ghouls to move, move her stuff and move the hellhounds in and make sure they're all well and settled, and, uh, hmm. What's but is there a word for bad karma? Oh. Bad karma. <laughs> Dang. There probably is. There definitely is. <clears throat> 100 plus words for bad karma. <laughs> nope, I got nothing. I'll I'll look it up and let you know. Thank you. In any event, they'll be changing the name of the Karma Club to something more appropriately hellish and fated.
Meanwhile, Yusuf and Holmes, you return to the Econo Lodge. Easter, Alex, what have you been doing while you're there? It's only um, been a few hours. God bless you! Thank you. Oh, jinx. Um, Alex is, is trying to kind of, uh, just free associate. Um, she doesn't know exactly what she needs to do, so she's doing what feels right. Sounds good. Well, first things first, uh, Alex Easter, you'll need a totem. It can be anything, really. But the more valuable it seems, the more likely it may be destroyed. Then again, the more innocuous it is, the more likely it may be destroyed accidentally. Uh, Easter provides um, a little uh, uh, travel-sized perfume atomizer. Ooh, nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm torn between my slipper, bully knife, and my and the lockpick. Alex mainly has practical stuff. My problem is everything that I own is off of me a certain percentage of the time. Right. Do you have a filling? That isn't really something that my kind have an issue with. And it wouldn't work anyway. I mean, our teeth change very significantly. That's a fair point. Uh, but no, uh, tooth decay is not something that seems to affect us. Fortunately, because I wouldn't want to have my feelings, feelings in my jaw when I change. Yeah, that's a good point. It, it, there have been some horror stories. Oh, it's not a horror stories, but it's a very unpleasant experience for your first transformation. Like afflicted werewolves when they first transform, all of the fillings pop out, and fuck, it hurts. Particularly in silver. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. they, don't, they don't use much silver anymore in fillings, but back in the day, it probably wasn't a good thing. Mm -hmm. Leading to a whole bunch of werewolves joining the like National Dentist Association to get the metal in them changed. Uh. That's why we do so much stuff with like porcelain. Well, just think about it. You're eating some guy, and all of a sudden you find a silver filling. Ah. <laughs> Complicated. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's very disruptive. Um, I think I'm going to go with my lockpicks. Sounds good. Your whispered tread is where you'll keep your uh, a piece of your spirit. And uh, Holmes and Yusuf, uh, when you arrive, what do you provide? Yeah, the signing went well. Contract had a flaw, but it got fixed. Well done. I mean, consider whose favor you could have gotten if you left the flaw in. That's true, but we'd be making a longer-term enemy. Oh, come on. You don't live very long, either. Well, no. Thank goodness. So the other question is, what else did you miss? But... The, uh, things that mattered less. I focused on life or death issues. Uh, Alex actually isn't talking. Sorry. She's, oh, yeah. she's distracted. Fair enough. Panting. More likely mumbling, wandering around the room. Uh, is the tobacco for burning, or is it for uh, poultice? Both. The smell is potent.
I have them take off their shirts. I apply the poultice. I have the uh, smoke, you know, wave the smoke into their faces. Uh, but Holmes, Yusuf, what objects will you choose? Uh, Yusuf wears a ring. He will uh, offer that up. It'll do. I have a necklace. Sounds good. Crucifix or just silver? Uh, silver crucifix. Sounds good. Hey, rock the classics. You never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most vampires don't give a shit. Some do. And when they do, they care a lot. <laughs> That's good to hear. I was uh, also concerned about werewolf. I wanted to make sure I had uh, something on hand. Fair enough. Uh, now... Alex, let's see how long this takes. Oh, nice. Yep. That was a beautiful ring. Thank you. I think, do you need a roll? No, I'm rolling. You, okay. haven't, gained, you um, haven't gained control of your powers yet. Um, I, I would probably spend willpower as the thing I have. I don't know if you can spend power. Uh, well, it, it's it's not. it's just a matter of time. Okay. Like, there's no way for you to feasibly fail. That being said, it does take seven hours. Oh, wow. Goodness. Everybody's asleep by the time I'm done. Nope. You gotta stay up. Alright, I'll kick him. <laughs> like, y you guys are stuck sitting in this room as Alex uh, chants and sweats for seven hours. The, the room thick with tobacco smoke. Uh, everybody, uh, uh, everybody who doesn't have iron stamina, give me a stamina and I think it's a stamina roll. Stamina and uh, stamina uh, and composure. Stamina and resolve. That's it. Okay. There we go. One solid success. One success. Zero. <laughs> uh, one again. I can't Yusuf. break the one. Yusuf, you're nodding off. Great. You might want to spend more power. I, I, I will spend more power. I, I'll whack Yusuf if he seems like he's not that funny. Well, that, that willpower got me too, so. Hey, puppy! <laughs> you, guys, like... you guys stay up through your dedicated sleeping time and just sit patiently. Fucking... That's a very cool ring cap. Thank you. And, okay, so here's what happens. You all lose a point of morality. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I mean... Again? Well, here's the thing. Uh, uh, these objects are invested with your morality. So gotcha. The objects add plus one to your morality score, so nothing changes. Oh. But, but if you lose the object, it goes back down. But no matter how low your morality becomes, so long as you have... So long as you have possession of your lucky charm, um, you can't actually go insane. Nice. That that's cool. Is pretty worth. Although it becomes the object of obsession. At that point, it becomes more you than you are. But we'll worry about that later. The precious. <laughs> I was Gotta about to say. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Like at that, that point, when we get there. at that point, the object literally becomes your conscience. <laughs> You'll spend your time watching it, listening to it, letting it tell you what you think you should do. Great. But we didn't say about that yet. Oh, and you get a plus one bonus to resist degeneration. Oh, oh nice. Because cool. there is a part of you that will always be untainted because it's not on you. It's not in you anymore. We are so Baltimoreing this. Uh in short, like because like because your memory changes every time you remember something, the object serves as something that doesn't change. Like like the pages of a book. Or a historical reenactment of an experience that you performed. And that's why it's so dangerous that the object should be threatened or destroyed. 
that record becomes unreadable and the point of morality will be lost forever. I have a question for you, Easter. All right. What, uh, what's a gun shop around the trust? I don't think I should order more weapons from Valkyrie. Depends on what you're looking for. A handgun and something a little more powerful. All right. Easter. I'm make sure. A, make a so, Winston Streetwise roll. I have cash. I know that changes a lot. Identic memory? Oh, identic memory. Uh, you know the guy. Uh, his name is Skip Murphy. He owns Skip's Pawn. He's also a lawyer, part time lawyer with Hearst Agnew and Murphy. Um, you really don't want to hire him as a lawyer. That being said, he does have certain illicit goods for sale. Nice. Listen, you don't want a criminal lawyer. You want a criminal lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what is better call Saul coming back? I know! Someday. It's been so long. Oh, television is just getting delayed like crazy. For reasons. Hey, yeah. global pandemic. We'll I missed that. it. Well, I'll, I'll just... get my get. I'll get my guest fring fring. Uh, next, you know, later in the month when Mandalorian comes back. So. Yep. <laughs> and now, with your sleep schedules heavily disturbed, you all go to bed. Yeah. Nap time. This is the best that I can I can manage. Be very careful with these. They are. Uh, I'm not sure if this this is a risk, but it may be our only ho hope dealing with creatures like this. Thank you for doing this for us, Alex. I know it wasn't easy. Oh, I'm very big. Um, so, actually, I, I was thinking about the the talisman. Is it too late for me to to retro retro that a little bit? Reynolds stepped out. He'll be back. Oh. Okay. The raging piss machine. He certainly is. <laughs> if he were if he were older, I'd be concerned about the state of his prostate, but you know. Right, like he's a young guy. I'm not too worried about it. Yep. I am back from the bathroom. Welcome back. Um, we were hypothesizing about your prostate. <laughs> I, I said if you were older, I would worry about the state of your prostate. Uh, I did have a a short prostate check, and it seems to be okay. It's it's the anxiety. Totally fair. It, yeah, yeah. It, it fucks with my digestion a lot. Mm. Completely understandable. Like, when I'm at work, I'll go to the bathroom every two hours. This is the first time I've been to the bathroom in, like, six hours. So, like, consider, I'm making good time right now. <laughs> well, I have... I've had kidney stones since I was very, like, quite young. Younger than you guys. And, um... It, it, it... Let's put it this way. You have to drink a lot of water. It becomes very much part of your, your uh, routine to drink water. Because... You don't drink water and you have a kidney stone attack. It's really unpleasant. Uh huh. So. No, thank you. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you guys about the, the, the my worst kidney stone attack? No. <laughs> um, I, I got you know sort of rushed to urgent care. It was a very unpleasant ride over. Um, and I got in, and they they put me on a. On a you know an IV for for uh, fluids and they gave me Demerol, um, and I was doing this little mantra where I said to myself over and over again, "This can't be as bad as the pain women go through in pregnancy." Can't that literally? This was this was like you know I, I was clenching my fists and I was sweating and I was like, "Can't be as bad as the pain women go through in pregnancy," and that was keeping me together. And this nurse walks over to me and she says, "Well." You look like you're in such terrible pain. You know, they say kidney stone pain is worse than the pain that women go through in pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, uh, I can confirm that having talked to one of my uh, co-workers who has experienced both. And she's like, yeah, kidney stones were way worse. <laughs> you don't get you don't get a nice soft little fuzzy bu- soft bundle. You get a thing that looks sort of like a dragon shark's tooth at the end. No. So, How long um, does it take to pass a kidney stone like that? Because now I'm wondering about the the pain over time math. Oh, it depends. Sometimes they get stuck. Yeah. So um, that time I had it stuck in my ureter for a long time and they had to go in arthroscopically and blast it with x-rays <sighs> to shatter it um so oh. and then i then i got to have a stent from my kidney into my bladder for around three weeks where i was walking around like a cripple it was fun <laughs> jesus dude uh, oh, i was like hydrate <laughs> yep yep hydrate hydration is important <laughs> Hail hydrate. Yep. Sorry, hydrate. sorry guys. Um, oh, question, question. One, one retro question. I, I was like thinking of something, you know, sort of a, a cool thing that Alex could have that, you know, I hadn't really thought about any jewelry for her in particular, but um, there are those sort of spring, spring steel uh, arm, armbands that you, you kind of like a, like a coil that can expand and contract. Um, it occurred to me that's something that Alex might might like, uh, and it's you know it's cooler than the lockpicks. Way so, cooler. Uh, if if that is if that's okay with you, make it so number one. The next night falls, you all uh, apply caffeine uh, judiciously to your blood systems. Yep. Ooh, coffee. And... And, chocolate. and uh, you check the, uh, the zombie herald, and as it turns down, the Ragnarok Club has been burned down. Thankfully, no one was inside. And... Um, and the all, of, will be paying well. all of the property <laughs> had sure been, it's the are thoroughly kept. Uh, all, all of the property had been removed. There, there's a big chance of insurance fraud, but uh, Alan <laughs> Smithy is not making a claim. So, no, no claim, no foul. <laughs> uh, but Alan, that, uh, what information can you give us that would be the most? harm and dis, uh, most harmful and disrupt, uh, disruptive to your plans is the question that Alex suggests. Who will make uh, the text and does anyone have any better ideas? Admittedly, this is going to proc the um, we should kill them response. <laughs> oh, please. I just told them how to nuke us. <laughs> No, I I think that uh, we'd be playing right into their into their game. I think that they would be enticed. What's that line from Django Unchained? I'm not antagonizing Candy. I am enticing him. <laughs> I can't think of one better. Does anyone else just eat straight up chocolate chips? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just found a check. No. Cool. Well, I mean, they just, I do, they just and I'm allergic to kisses. chocolate. That is pretty much a Hershey kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a little tiny Hershey's kiss. I'm so sorry. I pictured that in character, and it was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Holmes has just got a little bag of chocolate chips. Did any of you guys eat chocolate chips out of the bag? Yeah. Like, it's just a big Hershey's kiss. Okay, cool. Uh, but who's, who, who will send the message? Who will bear this burden? I'll do it. I like talking to her. Fair enough. Remember, she's building a profile of you. 
I know. <laughs> so all the more reason to have it keep being me. And we pulled the old rubber dope. She, she will probably say the same thing she did the last time we tried something like this, that it's too generic and that she needs more something more specific. But it's worth, I think. We could ask her for the location of the uh, what is it, the uh, acquisitions department or other information about them were kind yeah. of just going on a name. Uh, well, yeah. We could simply be as straightforward as possible and say um, where could we <clears throat> where could we find the um, the missing people um, at such and such a time. If we say right now she can move them, but where would we find them in 12 hours? That's clever. I like that idea. I also like that idea. 12 hours then? Uh, yeah, we should uh, be just, almost anywhere in just, 12. I was just doing a raw number, but yes. However, of course, they will know to wait for us if she wants them to. Unclear. Mm hmm. We find the missing. Is there a more specific way to call the missing people? Kidnap changelings might be the best. Yes. Uh, one of the vampires, we did also promise to find them. And I can put a comma. There we go. Oh, should I put that in in-game chat? Either or. I'll put it in there. It's easier to keep track of. Sounds good. So it doesn't get buried in my memory. Tell it memory. There's typing. Dude, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean it's time for your dinner. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I just have this big tank of cat food and they never bother me. <laughs> we can't do that. He'll eat himself to death. What do you guys think of that? Is that too boring? <laughs> no, it's nice like and it. simple. It's elegant. It suits her. It's not too too frou frou. Ooh, that is fancy. That works. Is that a brace? I mean, a uh, arm bracer or? It's a yeah. It's a bicep ring. Ah, one of those. Like, uh, do you ever watch Critical Role? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think. Um... Mer Mercia Ray. Yeah, I think she wears one. Yeah, I think she does, and also um, oh, the guy, the rogue, the axe. Oh, he does? Yeah, especially around Le the Le episode parties. Liam. Yeah, Liam uh, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. Why do you yell? He's great. He's my, he, I have to say, after watching all these episodes, consistently, he's the one who, who delivers the most consistently. Yes. Some of the others, like Sam Regal, he has the highest highs, but oh, yeah. his lows are pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> his lows involve shit in jars. I'm just saying. <laughs> shit on beds is more like it. 
That too. <laughs> I still can't believe- I remember the first time I heard him saying that. And I'm just like, he's what? <laughs> In the Dwarven Palace? What? <laughs> Uh, the Drugar, Drugar Palace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember he was scrying on his daughter with, Dude. with, uh, with Dude, Chip. You know there's not <laughs> this chair for the both of us. Yeah, I just got to the daughter part in the uh, in Critical Role. I'm on episode like thirty six. Mm -hmm. No, I, 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 I've watched the first season, but I, I really like the second season. So. Yeah, I've got the first few episodes of the second season. That's really good. They really have developed over time as far as acting. Can I help you? Nice seeing Travis. <laughs> he let you in here. Yes. <laughs> oh. You can, you can feed him. We got a response. Oh, that, that's a decent paragraph. <laughs> nice. He just wanted me to feed him. Good question. Good answer. Very, very bad. You have been selected. And somehow I think we've played into our hands yet again. The scary part is I love the part where she says, Don't make me a liar. Because technically, if we break them out beforehand, she will be wrong. This is true. But it will be the four of you against an actual security force. I got my well, grant. I can do this. <laughs> this is this is a time when we could call on without using any favors. Uh, yep. our, our allies. This is what they want to know. Oh, this is going to be good. This is also our mission, really. Find out where they went and what happened. That's a side quest. That's a high-ranking one. <laughs> we found out where they are. But these are also people very experienced in capturing supernatural beings. Yes. By, by chance, did I get a loaner for my car, which is totally being you know brought in for the warranty? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. That's why you go for the total warranty. Always. <laughs> no mysteries Car doesn't take chances with their corporate cars. They know what's liable to happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, hmm. I'm just Perhaps shocked I'm the werewolf. I expected a werewolf attack at some point. Perhaps I'm being too subtle. Yeah. But what if we? Hmm. No, this is probably a very bad idea. What? Uh. What if we call upon the Sabbat and the loyalists? They oh, have shit. been wronged by these people. Oh shit! Instead of calling our allies. Send in their enemies. Let them be destroyed and see what sort of forces are are await us. I, I think it it's it may be too complicated to to pull off, but it would be hmm, more satisfying to see the horrible people killed by other horrible people. I like where you're going with this, but at the same time that could backfire. <laughs> Yes, it could. Uh, you'd, be, you'd be playing two more games of trying to get in contact with someone that does not want to speak with you. Hmm. Admittedly, I am for it. I just think that we're, we're going to lose a lot of... <laughs> there's going to be a lot of bodies hitting the floor. And it's going to be interesting cleaning this up. <laughs> Alex just blinks. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up. What is that? <laughs> That's not my responsibility. I'm not here to uphold the masquerade. 
<laughs> Vampires are unhappy. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, if I think if an entire raiding party of Sabak got annihilated, they probably would not be unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be a mixed bag. Like they'd definitely be glad that the party got wiped out. They would be upset that someone might like find the dust and figure out what it is. Yeah, they have to clean. But if they know ahead of time, they might be cool. <laughs> cool. Right, we think of it. Bring a vacuum. Isn't it in the Sabat's MO that they uh, bolster their forces with <gasps> newly turned vampires when they attempt things like this? Yep, the Shovelhead Initiative. Hmm. Yeah. No, that would not be good. So, no, that's what you're asking for. Hmm. Well, as I said, it's not it, it's not a uh, a great idea. It would be more satisfying than seeing than seeing people die. Who don't, who shouldn't. So the accusing... Turning two evils against each other is... It is... Much better. And more efficient. One, you can get it to work. Yeah. I wonder if any of this group are counted among the uh, real security. What security? They, they said they're using real security instead of clones yeah. at this uh, repository building. That's true. I wonder if any of them are going to be the slashers. Somehow, I think... Hmm. Somehow, I don't think so. I'm not sure why. Just a feeling? Hmm. Unless she is ready to dispose of them. She was very... She knew that this question could come. Unless she's sure... No, she's not sure of our defeat. She's planning on our victory, I think. Ah, no, never mind. I have no... She is much cleverer than I. Don't make I a liar of me to play hero. So... Uh, I can ch clearly not choose the wine in front of me. <laughs> Your logic is dizzying. I, you haven't heard the half of it. Where was I? Australia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good film. Mm -hmm. One of the great movies. It's pretty fucking good. Yeah. So she gave us a location of this place. Where is it? Like, it's uh, it's on the outskirts of the city. Uh, the old North Central Positronics building was located pretty centrally. This one's further out. Okay. Site B. Exactly. Oh, huh. just out of curiosity, on the outskirts of the city, is this still too far into the city? For my folk, not not Kylie's raiders, but the you know werewolves. No, you could quite possibly. Um, oh, uh, I think it's a very bad idea to ask a group of werewolves to to come rescue vampires. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do rescue. no. I, I, I'm a little more concerned about them being. Uh, not happy about a group of vampires going <laughs> into their territory. That's a distinct possibility. We should at least work it out with them or start the meeting as, as a warning of sorts. Uh, and obviously these security services know a thing or two about fighting the supernatural. They won't yes. have access to Task Force Valkyrie munitions. 
but a sidearm with silver bullets is not outside the realm of possibility. It's more likely than not. Maybe white phosphorus for vampires? Ooh. Ah. I know what you're saying. Isn't that illegal? Yeah. These, these fuckers <laughs> don't give a shit about what's legal and what's illegal. Fair enough. Vampires. <laughs> Dragon, dragon's breath shotgun rounds. Those are always fun. Ooh. <laughs> Task Force Valkyrie uh, has rounds with a mistletoe core for anti-vampire. That'll do it. Well, it allows you to do lethal damage to a vampire, and with uh, yep. otherwise you do bashing, get fucked. They got a uh, true blood up in this biz. But now you have an Oh, uh, I, I was thinking about Hellboy in, in his various weird rounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love those. A little bit of flex of gold, a few shavings of the true cross. It'll kill basically anything. <laughs> Hound of Resurrection. That's great. How do I kill it? Doesn't say. Uh, that being said, you now have a location and quite possibly an opportunity. Well, we need to organize this quickly. Uh, as much as I hesitate to suggest splitting up, I think in order to gather the necessary forces, we may have to. Mm. I call vampires. I, I look at Easter when he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I was about to say, Easter, will you exploit your bond or quite possibly allow your bond to be exploited? Or allow my bond to exploit me while exploiting my bond? It's a two-way street. Mutual exploitation? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Easter, just remember it is important that you don't reveal what we did last night to anyone outside of this group. It might be of help there, too. I about to say, Easter, if, if the sea consciousness gets a hold... If any if any vampire gets a hold of that thing, they've got, they've got a backdoor into your soul. Yeah, that's uh, not something I'm interested in uh, revealing. Romance goes out the window. Assuming direct control. <laughs> Chunk. Uh, so Holmes Easter to the vampires. Yay! And Alex and Yusuf, where will you go? Excellent question. Did did we want to make contact with the werewolves? Two two avenues that suggest themselves to me. Um, I could see if there are any of Kali's raiders in town beyond the. Uh, Beyond our friend, the uh, I remember our friend, our friend's name, the postman, uh, Ivan. the Russian guy, postman. Ivan. Yeah, Ivan Poktolon. Mm. Beyond Ivan, there may be others here, and uh, Ivan would also be that the person to deliver a message to the werewolves, um, if we have to do that. Uh, he may know the, the local politics better than I. I am not I'm very familiar with my own kind. So I'm very... Uh, I was not aware of many things until fairly recently. Understood. I think that 
making contact with some of of your fellow agents would be a good idea. Just out of curiosity, does the uh, am I doing pulling off the aspiness thing for uh, for Alex or? or I, I, I was so. just wondering. Okay, <laughs> she's at she's she's aspie. Yeah. Uh, he would probably be able to tell us. I'll, uh, I'll I'll contact him. I'm reluctant to use many of my own resources because of the whole uh, security issue. It seems like something that they may be too interested in. No, of course. And something that they might want to replicate or pull up. We don't really do replication. That's that's more. Uh, what is it, Charon? Uh, uh, do you mean the Charon Initiative? Yeah. Uh, they are all about uh taking parts and putting them to good use. <laughs> they tend to do more of the research and development with supernatural entities. We negotiate with the ones we can and fight the rest. So which one is based on the, the initiative from Buffy? Uh, I think that's Chiron. I've heard some troubling rumors about that group. Mm. I've heard many troubling things about mm, many organizations. <laughs> she she looks at you, her eyes flick away suddenly. <laughs> I'm not about to be offended. I'm barely here of my own free will. Interesting. I find find that uh, yeah, I may have a a prejudiced perspective, but uh, Kylie's Raiders are inclusive, inclined towards mercy. Um, they seek to improve things. I think sometimes they are too soft, but of the one of the groups I've heard of, they seem. Mm -hmm. The one most resonant for me. And the others wouldn't let me in simply because of who I am, so I suppose that is. Uh... I think that Noel might be interested in your skills. Yeah. Uh, we totally are hiring at this moment, if you would like to be interested. Oh, no way, man. Null are not going to conspire with werewolves. Too much too much fucking hoobity jubity for their for their preferences. I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to know the whole truth. The test sure. force Valkyrie is inclined towards usefulness, and as soon as yours has run its course, they toss you aside. Well, if that should occur, there is always a welcome for uh, for competent people among among Valley's Raiders, and I don't believe many are tossed aside for any reason. Well, now that I'm not bugged, I can say with confidence, it sounds rather attractive. Oh. First things first. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Well, uh, I I, uh, I post a letter for Ivan. Or how, how do I contact Ivan? Again? Do I call him and deli yeah, so he Does he just know instinctively that there is a something waiting for him? He knows that there is mail that needs to be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> he has he has six dots in the mailman uh, um, uh, transmutation school. <laughs> 
This he has Kevin Costner beat. Right. Oh my god, yes. Mm, well, I, I will actually write one letter that's to Ivan and ask him if I should send the second letter. <laughs> so. Uh, he arrives uh, to acquire the letter that's for him, and he's like, "Well, this does not happen very much." <laughs> it is perhaps the shortest delivery you've had to deal with. Excellent job. Uh, this location here is it within the local werewolf territory? Yes, it is. Da. Mm. This is where the prisoners are being held. Mm. If we give the information to the vampires and they send a force in, would they be under threat? Almost well, certainly. <clears throat> so, second letter um, is I don't know who the local. Um, leader of the werewolves is so if you happen to know who i can address this to that would be that would be helpful i don't know who the local war chief is but i do know where to find them i assumed you would are they okay with us with Kali's raiders they are more amenable to the raiders than to other organizations but they are very fiercely xenophobic they do not like anyone coming around that's how most packs work. Well, this group sounds like it is firmly of the worm, but they may want to deal with it themselves. You, you, you must understand. The actions that they take do not necessarily make sense. There is a whole lot of politicking, reserving ritual and uh, strategy that is all coupled together into something that pleases ultimately no one and often gets people killed more than it gets things done at least that's my understanding of how most werewolf packs work how what if i spoke to them myself be a better foot in the door than a letter I I understand that my gifts are not are not usual and would that be something I should mention or something I should avoid mentioning do you think depends uh, there are some there are some packs that are so far backwards they consider any level of magic to be an indication of the worm no shaman I thought that they hmm. uh, well then I have a package I need you to deliver to the, uh, the would they accept Yusuf uh, no less likely they hate it. I know that you you are not American but you work for the Americans they don't like colonizers so two, two things then are there any of Kali's raiders local that would be able to assist in a raid in the next 11 hours and also can you deliver a package it is uh, approximate it's a bit under 6 feet long and around 140 pounds no Holy. problem uh that's that's no problem for me. Alex nods her head gravely. Yusuf, I I think that this is the best way to get their cooperation, but it might go badly. Uh, and I it doesn't sound like they would be amenable to your presence. No, probably not. Do you want me to hang back in case things go wrong? Are you still able to use your special rounds? 
uh, not without a gun from from my organization. No. Although if they, we have twelve they, hours, I could I could take the time to locate and remove it with Holmes' help. We need to speak to them before then, I think. So I I recognize that this is an extremely bad idea, but perhaps better than penetrating werewolf territory unannounced and assuming that they will not come and kill us all. I think what you're doing is a necessary sign of respect from what I understand. There's too many variables to know how they'll react, but this seems better than doing nothing. This is, of course, assuming that they have not been corrupted. These, these people have been operating in their territory. Perhaps they pay tribute. Hmm. You have to make well, them realize that as soon as they're done with the people they've captured, they're going to turn their eyes to the next source of supernatural people, which is the pack. I, I will try. Diplomacy is perhaps not my strongest suit. Just stay focused and try not to be too reactionary, is my best advice. Thank you. And perhaps while it splits our forces even worse, you can make an attempt with the changelings. They have a stake in this as well. That's true. Going back to uh, to the Bowery King, or am I trying to find the loyalists on top of all this? I think that that might be unwise. Uh, it's it's it is an interesting thought, but if we're if we're bringing the Camarilla in, I don't think we want to mix the loyalists in as well. That might be confusing. And if you want the help from the raider that I know, you'll need someone to go touch base with Chulovic then. Don't worry, he looks a lot scarier than he is. It, of what sort of being is he? He is... I think he's a vampire. Oh. Huh. I think he's a little hungry. <laughs> Well, Yusuf, this sounds like an excellent job. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> oh no, 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 he's a raider. He wouldn't kill you. You, you, uh, you, 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 you catch just this, perhaps the faintest hint of a smile on Alex's face. <laughs> it occurs to you that she, her, her expressions don't change very much. No, they don't. <laughs> Right. Very funny. Um, I don't think I have much choice. Where do I find this this person? Uh, he gives you an address. Great. Hungry vampire raider. Uh, oh. 25 Stillwater Court. <laughs> And our <laughs> shit. Oh god. What the f are the other people doing? <laughs> oh well, Easter and Holmes have got to go talk to the bad prince. Oh boy. Uh, and Alexandra, I assume you want to put yourself in a box and deliver yourself to the werewolf chieftain. Oh, I, I was being, I, I was being kind of facetious about it. Uh, I, I, I assume it's okay if I am. A if he delivers a package of me with a, a box around it. Oh, no, I even assumed that you wanted to put yourself in a box. If you, <laughs> if the only person more on the spectrum than you is Ivan. I was going to say, you, you've got two people that, that don't understand uh, the, the nuance. Yeah. To be fair, he's probably always wanted to package someone. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're assuming that he hasn't d delivered someone before. <laughs> But must be in box. Only way. <laughs> I cannot deliver that. It does not have proper postage. Wrap that up! <laughs> <laughs> you need more stamps. Clearly not enough stamps. <laughs> um, 
And so he will bring you to uh, the werewolf pack. So, Yusuf. Yeah. Your job is to go make contact with Chilovic 10. It, it, you know, that's really funny, but but I, I gotta say, Alex really does sort of find Ivan attractive in a way. <laughs> He's a great guy. Well, because, like, he appeals to, like, her for her sense of honor and stuff. Oh, baby Jesus. He's one of the good ones. Uh, Yusuf, can you say it, Urban Brigade? He felt like splattering his guts, his guts on a wall since you met him. Can I tell <laughs> what? Uh, 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 did you know that Chicago is the site of urban decay? I definitely do now. Yikes. It almost reminds me of home. Uh. There's something in there. Oh, you this can, is very foreboding. <laughs> you can feel it, even from out here. Have you ever been to a haunted house? One of those places no. that your friends used to tell you about? Don't go there. The old owner hung himself from the ceiling and killed his wife and daughter. Some places just have an energy about them. This is one of those places. Perfect. Well, I've got a, a mundane gun full of mundane rounds and we're gonna we're gonna walk right up to what counts for a door. Uh, <laughs> I'm up to date on my tennis shot. The door <laughs> is locked. It might actually be barred. It's unclear. I'll give a, a courtesy knock, but also uh, look for a window I might be able to get through. Anyone at home? In this very abandoned house? No? Grab my flashlight baton and uh, start crawling over some rubble to try and look for another way in. There are many ways in. Excellent. Give me an intelligence and crafts roll. I can do that. Build a door. <laughs> then kick it in. <laughs> Uh, one. Um, oh, uh, you find an area that, oh man, uh, th there's no telling which place will collapse. Oh, that won't. That's got a supporting beam above it. And the the wood doesn't look so rotten. And the concrete looks pretty sturdy. That'll do. And you All crawl right. in. Crawl my way inside. Your torch, I... <laughs> the light, it's not illuminating as much as it should. <clears throat> the light sputters and dies in the tenebrous shadows of this terrible place. La Sombra. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you crawl within deeper and deeper. You should feel glad that Ivan called ahead. Indeed I am. That man has great timing. Um, you shine the light on the creature. It is difficult to illuminate. Oh, wow. That is a picture. I want to have an idea of like where this... Um, the vampire is in the room. I'll lower the beam so it's not shining directly at him. No, please. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of light. And to prove his point, he uh, uh, he lights a cigarette and begins to smoke. Um, the, the, the pinpoint of uh, the burning ash is alone against the sea of darkness that is this man's body. Chilovic 10, I presume? 
Yes. Do, do you cast Peter Stormare for everybody, Ronald? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I might have. Um, he's like, <laughs> that's not my name, but he's not too far off. Um. Call me Henrik. Henrik, my name is Yusuf. I am here to ask for your help. But of course, I know that your kind doesn't work for free. I wouldn't expect you to. You misunderstand me. <laughs> I'm not an anarch. I'm not a camarilla. I'm a raider. Living the free life has certain advantages and it has certain disadvantages. No one will give a single shit if I die. But I have new friends now, and they will. What do you need me for? A great number of changelings, vampires, and other supernatural folk have been taken by the Acquisitions Department of North Central Positronics. We've located where they're being held for now. And I, I tell him where it is outside of the city, in the heart of werewolf territory. Well, when do you plan to attack it? We have a window of 12 hours where we are certain that they will be there. Outside of that, we don't know. All right, then. Um... You've got to understand. It's skinny living out here. I haven't fed on anything but rats and skunks for the past couple of weeks. Uh, my hunger isn't necessarily an impediment, but it does mean that I won't be able to use uh, perhaps my more potent abilities. If you could get me uh, something uh, substantial to feed on, I'd greatly appreciate it. Blood is blood. Don't go out of your way or do something that you would uh, regret in order to feed my appetites. But understand, I'm a monster of limited means out here. Understood. Uh, how much... How much blood do you require? How many pints on a gallon? Um... I don't know. Is it four? No, I think it's 16 pints to a gallon. It is eight. Eight, eight. pints. I mean, two gallons would be nice. He's talking about eating three people. Yes, he is. And I don't mean like... I don't mean like... Oh, man, they'll live. I mean, that is killing three people, which means you'll need to provide him with six if you want him at 100% and no one to die. That's what frat parties are for. Hey, <laughs> well, time to go see if I can. Uh... Hmm. That I think I might be vampire. able to help you. Fantastic. I will be back. I'll stick around for a few hours. I'll go unlock the front door. <laughs> and, Thank you. Uh, after that. I'll be on route to the location, and then you'll have five hours for your assault. And then uh, you've got to understand, you can't push this too close to dawn. <laughs> I don't do well in the sun. I don't imagine so. No. And obviously, if I catch a sunrise, I'm dead. Although there are worse ways to die. Thank you, Henrik. I'll be in touch very soon. You're welcome. It's time to catch an Uber to go to uh, Skip's pawn shop. Hey! You catch an Uber and head over to Skip's pawn shop. Cool. Uh, Skip is a a large, uh, balding white man with a uh, a with a a, 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 a rather rotund gut. 
Uh, he's missing a large amount of teeth in the lower left, uh, the lower left upper part of his mouth. And he has a name tag that is labeled Skip Murphy. Murphy. Um, good evening, Mr. Murphy. I have it. I'll cut to the chase. I have cash, and I hear that you deal in a few lucrative side businesses. I was wondering if we might have a chat. And I put a hundred dollar bill on the counter. That's worth a chat. That's a good start. What can I interest you in? I'm interested in the purchase of a firearm or two. And I'm interested if you might have a connection with the local blood bank. Um, no. I don't know who, what you want with a blood bank, but, you know, whatever. Um, Doesn't hurt to ask. Not my business. Uh, but guns? I've definitely got a couple of guns. Great. I need something in the 9 millimeter range, and I need something automatic. Automatics are a little limited, but I do have something that shoots 9 millimeter. Perfect. Um, he presents a, a Glock and a machine pistol. Oh. What's that? Awesome. The Seska Scorpion? Oh, it's a 007 gun. Like, those things are cheap as fuck. Nope, that one's too big. Oh, good. I prefer things on the lighter side, anyway. There we go. But which gun is it? Ah, whatever. It's an Uzi. It's very small. Um, he, he, he refers to it as the Pistler. And, <laughs> and I got this here Pistler. Ooh. That looks like a mini Uzi. It is. It pisses bullets. <laughs> yeah, well named. Um, Perfect. Uh, this thing cannot fire a single shot. It's three shot burst or nothing. Three shot or store bust. You, you know what? Uh, what's the other level? There's a level higher than. Uh, oh God! Oh baby Jesus! What in the absolute fuck? There was an error processing this page. An internal error has occurred. <laughs> You're googling the wrong things. <laughs> They're no, gonna no, get no. you now. Oh no! NSA. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know what the hell happened. Some something got very upset with my uh, with my Adobe Acrobat reader. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, NBD. But, uh, let me look up guns. So many guns. Easy to find though online. Uh, but no, I'm particularly looking up uh, World of Darkness gun rules because there's. Single shot, three shot burst, and then there's something else, and then there's full auto. And this thing is, it, it, the minimum is the middle level. It, it's not full auto or nothing, but it, it's, yeah. yeah. There we go. Uh, you've got medium, short burst, medium burst, and long burst. This thing fires in medium bursts or long bursts only. Uh, medium bursts are uh, fires 10 or so bullets at one to three targets with a plus two bonus to each attack roll. If you fire at more than one target, you suffer penalties that mitigate this bonus. And then the long burst is 20 or so bullets uh, as at as many targets as the shooter wants. Oh, uh, nice. And I can tell you when how many are too many. And uh, like you, you get to choose a line. Um so, um, uh, you, you won't be able to exclude targets from that line on a long burst. And these are obviously very small bullets. They're very susceptible to armor. 
But against soft targets, oh, this will murder people. It's also great for lighting up vehicles. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> you get uh, a micro Uzi, uh, a Glock, and two spare Glock magazines and two spare micro Uzi magazines for, uh, let's call it $1,000. Cool, I can do that. I have three dots and resources. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You took money as a superpower. Yes, nice, I did. <laughs> nice work, kid. Thanks. Um, resources for the win. For the win. Yeah, five dots and resources and BD. That's when you're pretty much Batman. Uh, not quite. That's not quite. Batman is seven dots and resources. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I know I had a character turn into Batman. The fuck. Uh, but uh, if you ever have the opportunity, starting off a character with five dots and resources can cut a lot of the problems out of things. I just paid the man. <laughs> I fucking pay him. And alternatively, five dots and retainer means there's two of you. <laughs> You basically just need to make a second character sheet at that point and hand it to your DM. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Cookie started uh, Cookie started the game as a fifth dot retainer. Ah. Cool. Dude, the dude had better physical attributes than, than Omar did. Well, I mean, it's like the Kato and the Green Hornet where, you know, technically Kato is the retainer, but effectively, he's more effective. So. Yep. Jet leave for the win. Um, Easter obviously the vampires control the blood trade but it's hotly contested between the Anarchs and uh, the Camarilla okay um, into uh, a little money change in hands um, you uh, make an intelligence and politics roll you got it Two successes. You're pretty sure the Anarchs are in control of the blood trade right now. Which means they'll be more apt to sell, less likely to ask questions, more likely to price gouge. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus. Alrighty then. You're not exactly sure which Baron has been put in charge of it, though, which muddies things a little bit. I will pass all of this information on to Yusuf and add a... Hmm. <laughs> they don't need to go to plan B. Hey guys, I got a great real estate opportunity for you. Just get in this Uber and stop asking questions. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of grab some club goers that are in into like haunted tour bullshit. Be like, hey, <laughs> check out this abandoned building. I promise you won't get completely drained of all your fluids. <laughs> well, this way, frat, frat fraternities are really going down to be going for those deals. Hey, does this smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> I mean, I'm poly all you have to do is just give a thousand dollars, which you have, to like the tour bus driver. Say, "Hey, I want to take your job for the night. I think it'd be fun." This is that the world of darkness. An idea. This is the world of darkness that will work. I'm I'm obligated by the rules of the game for people to be easily bribable. <laughs> it's in the lore. Uh, it's actually part of my character background. I uh, people bribable. 
going to suggest going to a frat house and daring saying that a bunch of guys are too pussy to do something and then you'll have like 90 of them yeah but you see i look like a pussy <laughs> that's I fair like enough and they'd shove in a locker <laughs> you are a fucking nerd yeah like <laughs> they're not gonna take my bets they don't care about my opinion that's true. Yusuf is nerdy and frat boys are racist as fuck. Yeah. Oops. Oops, all racist eggs. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but uh, Holmes and Easter, let's go to the Mad Prince's court. <laughs> um, you two walk in and the prince is dealing with a dispute right now. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, it is between a a Ventru and a Malkavian. Ooh. Um and uh, it appears to be a dispute about um Well, it just popped into my head, so I'm gonna say it. Territory. Um, and, uh, the Ventru says, have we not suffered at your hands enough? Uh, and he says, like, gesturing to the jester. And the jester just continues to sulk. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, your people have, uh, grown fat on, on the, on the blood of the land, while my people grow frail. And look at this creature. Are we to be expected to let this man own an apartment building? To which he responds, Fribble, I say! Fribble! Um, <laughs> let me see if I can find a Hodgman the Hope Overlord text generator. Um, oh, there we go. I got the random nonsense. Let's see if I can get the random nonsense. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Your Honor, League of Legends. Death. <laughs> um, and he just says, oh, what are the, what are the random, uh, oh God. Jesus Christ. Gotta avoid the telephone. Are you a circus? Now, I can't find the toaster. How many clubs? And the Mad Prince says he makes a very compelling argument. <laughs> and the Ventru looks at him, and um, uh, if you didn't, know, his 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 cheeks can't flush, uh, because he's dead. Uh, but he looks very visibly upset. Um, and he's like, "Do you have a rebuttal?" And he's like, "Rebuttal." My lord, I can't rebut nonsense. I can't negotiate with this creature. That's why I have brought him before you. And the prince simply says, I see. I understand the nature of your issue, my cousin. If you wish to have his territory, then you will share it, and you will live in it, and you will become his brother, and in time, you will learn his wisdom. It is at this point the Venture got exactly what he asked for, but absolutely not what he wanted. <laughs> 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 
At which point the two of them were escorted from the court. And I mean like the 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 defending Malkavian, he too seems a little upset with the arrangement, although it's not clear why. It sounds like a potential eighties uh, buddy comedy. Oh, you know it. Um, and then he looks at the two of you and just says, "Ah, yes, a fine diversion." Holmes, Easter, it's been what nearly a whole night before you came to visit me, and here you are again. Oh, we miss the breath of fresh air that comes from visiting. Very funny. <laughs> but what do you need now? Curiosity, is the Sea Collective present? Uh, the Sea Collective is present. Excellent. Uh, the Sea Collective is wearing a distinctly Curtis shaped form today. Fair enough. Uh, six shooter, cowboy hat, duster jeans vest <laughs> no shirt chest hair poking out i'm just gonna see how long i can keep you going <laughs> <laughs> excellent uh he is twirling his guns well we've uh gotten a lead on the Missing vampires and the missing changelings. Interesting. You say that like it's the same thing. And before there, uh... you answer, he says, ah, because it is. <laughs> exactly. They, uh, they've been taken in by a group called the, uh, what is it, the Acquisitions Department. Uh, the North Central Positronics Acquisitions Department. That is, um, I didn't mean for it, to, it, it, it's got a strange poetry to it. It does, it does. It like, yeah, it feels good to say. Right. And we know precisely where they'll be in 12 hours. So we'd like to move on this. More like 10 and a half now. I think you've done me a few good turns. I think we could afford to devote some resources in retaking some of our lost. And he takes a moment and says, then again, the costs may be too great. Um, and someone cries out from the court, uh, and she screams, please, please, my prince, my fledgling lies in their hands, and I want nothing more than to press him into my bosom. And he says, a good cry, bonus points on using, uh, using the correct vernacular. I can't turn down an, I can't turn down a request like that. <laughs> Hey. Well, I suppose you've uh, you've uh, afforded a bit of support. Thank you. In, out. Reclaim the captives. I don't think we'll have a chance to burn this one down. That's all right. Another time, perhaps. Sadly, we don't have ten rabid Prometheans at our beck and call. Then again, perhaps that's for the best. Perhaps. Curtis! You would be perfect in marshalling this. And he just says, I reckon I would. You know, these guns have been getting awfully dusty, Prince. I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity to oil them with fresh oil. <laughs> um, and he walks up to the two of you and uh, he begins uh, taking more requests for the court. 
Um, no, neither of you would know that. Anyway, he looks at the two of you and he's like, I'll have a posse rounded up in a couple of hours. Uh, unlike the rest of the whack jobs up in here, he says, pointing to his head, I actually have a phone. So if you want to call me, you ain't got to use the Pony Express or nothing like that. That's unexpected and very useful. Thank you. He shrugs and says, telegraph loophole. <laughs> Easter laughs at that one. Oh, who would I uh, talk to here about the current state of the Chicago blood bank? Uh, you wouldn't be talking to anybody around here. Uh, They're all natural. Well, uh, there's a big mean Mother Hubbard of a Deva who's managed to charm herself into possession of the Chicago Blood Bank. Gotcha. Uh, that being said, uh, she offers a fair rate. Alright, it ain't a fair rate, but she don't water it down, which is more than I can say for the last unfortunate some bitch who used to own it. You ever drank watered down blood? Sorry, wrong question. Can't say I have. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> Excellent. But, so how might I uh, get in contact with her? Yeah, that's no issue. I can I can give you a little PO box. Uh, well, uh, you can find her down at the random nightclub name generator. Yay. You can find her down at the Vibe. Hipster. I like it. <laughs> oh, no. No, I just looked in memes. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you can find her down at the Vibe. I don't think it's a hipster thing. I think it's a cam girl thing. Uh, yep, yeah, that would make sense. Oh. Yeah, but I, I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't know anything about that. I would definitely not go to an anarch institution in order to enjoy the company of fine women. Wouldn't do anything about that. Maybe some fine gentlemen too. But I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, I got a posse to go round up. See you two later. Catch a posse. <laughs> Catch a posse! Um, uh, so, uh, you may relay the, uh, the, 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 look, the, the address of the vibe to Yusuf. Did I get the Deva's name? Uh, you did not. Let me get my random renamer out. Ah! Uh, Tandy. Excellent. Oh, goddamn. Sometimes life just gives you one. Tandy, excuse me. Tandy. Good note. Although, the great news is too close to good news, everyone. And we're about to go on a mission, so this is promoting.
That's all. So, Yusuf, do you go to the vibe? I do. We all vibing now! Uh... He's like pure, pure business. He's staring down at the floor. He's not. <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. There is a door. There is a line outside the vibe. Weird. Only dudes. That is that is strange. Well, not not really. I mean, it's not like this is probably advertised towards women. It's not. It's not. No. I know because I'm I'm standing in this long ass line reading reviews on what passes for sex club Yelp. Every, all of the reviews here are, like, super corny and really uncanny. It's just like, uh, the waitress, Cherry Bomb, is one hell of a ride. I can tell you, I'll be coming again and again. Five stars! <laughs> oh, if I have to read another winky face, I'm going to scream. Oh, there's so many <laughs> they, winky faces. Things could be worse. Alex could be with you. Right? That's true. Oh, that would be so awkward. Mm -hmm. um, well, it, 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 but there might be just like a, a, like a lot of bodies and then Alex is, I lost time. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I would, uh, yeah. Fellas, if you're going to come here, you're going to want to bring a fat stack, if you know what I mean. And don't be afraid to tip your waitress. Five stars. Ugh, that hurts. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> Couldn't be a burn down this club. <laughs> why, don't, why tell your, don't tell your wife about the vibe, fellas. You'll blow your wad faster than you can say... Oops! <laughs> Five you stars! Have, you have a web page up or something? No, I'm just making this shit up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of as many double entendres as I can. Oh. <laughs> All these dude bro <laughs> level on. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you do face a little bit of trouble when you get to the front door. Um, the bouncer, who looks particularly dim for a bouncer, says, Whoa, 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 hold up, nerd. Yes? This is a club for hot and happening fellas. I don't think I can let you in. You wouldn't really, you'd really bring down the atmosphere, you understand? Oh, I, I wasn't aware that you didn't want to make money tonight. Oh, Lord. Well, it depends <laughs> on how much money I'm making. <laughs> You're the doorman. I have a crisp, and it just like takes out the money, and it's it, it, it's a fifty dollar bill. He looks at it. Uh, make a uh, presence and subterfuge, manipulation and subterfuge. Manipulation and subterfuge, I can do. That's a delicious four dice instead of a two dice. So thank you, Mr. GM. Hey. Two hits. Two hits. He takes nice. the $50 bill and just says, Oh, well, you know, I hear uh, nerds are coming in style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We prefer being called hipsters. Oh, uh, really? Well, I see. You were nerdy before it was cool. And he, like, shoves you in the, through the door. Yeah. <laughs> I get shoved in through the door. Uh, the same thing. <laughs> uh, this place is a Technicolor hellscape. I'm very tempted to just put my sunglasses back on. Oh, uh, you're going to want to. Oh, my God. Uh, the, between the strobes and the colored lights, uh, there is a lot going on on this dance floor. And uh, you, you, you come to the swift conclusion... Oh, the noise is a distraction. 
not that like, makes sense. Not like the literal audio noise, but there's so much going on here, it's impossible to keep track of almost anything. You know, this is actually a pretty smart operation. Um, uh, there is uh, uh, a cash bar uh, and a dance floor, and then there appeared to be there's a balcony and other side chambers. I think that going to the bar first is in order. Uh, you go to the bar. It's time for me to bring up the obligatory Vampire the Masquerade bartender. Oh, awesome. I know how much you love that person, so I'm, I'm here to help. I'm obligated. <laughs> it's the rules. It's the rules. Someone had too much fun designing this NPC model, and I will not let it go to waste. God, I love this character. Oh, no. I, I love the random drunken story generator that you can deliver to him. So, my pet iguana died. And I'm taking it really hard. And I think at this point, I'm absolutely certain that there isn't a god. Yeah, yeah. You're going to buy anything? But uh, he looks at you and says, what'll it be? A shot of vodka, please. Vodka. Neat. You opening up a tab, or are you paying now? I'll pay now. Sounds good. Uh, you hand him a, a tenor. Uh, you hand him a fiver, and he hands you a shot of vodka. Wonderful. It's a um, large shot. <laughs> Perfect. I'll, I'll slam it back and put a 20 on the bar and say, uh, is, is Tandy working tonight? She's working every night. She's a regular workhorse. That's what I hear. You'll uh, find her upstairs. Thanks, Ben. Take care. He 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 takes the twenty, and he's not too worried that he told you where you can find his boss. I figure that I'm not the first uh, person who's asked. No, at this point, he's glad that you, uh, that he, he's just happy that they decided to pay, uh, that you decided to pay him. <laughs> Money is a powerful motivator. It's very, it's like it greases all the palms in the world. Uh, that being said, when you get up there, make a wits and empathy roll. Gladly. Uh, you you shove your way through uh, the, the 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 crowd of just sweating, dancing uh, men and women. One hit on that. Uh, one hit on that. Uh, give me a wits a uh, wits and composure. I'm sorry. Yeah, wits and composure as well. Okay. There are hefty penalties. Uh, three hits on that. Three hits. Some of these gentlemen are being taken into side rooms. Oh. Hmm. Just like uh, one of the dancing girls will get up into his ear and say something and he'll nod and she'll take him by the hand and uh, hurry him through the uh, through the uh, through the crowd and take him into one of the side rooms there. A idea forms in the back of Yusuf's head that this is uh, likely a supplement to their blood numbers. E uh, but when you get up there, uh, you it's pretty easy to figure out who's in charge. Hey. That is a cross. It is. The, it's much quieter up here. You don't know exactly how that works from an audio perspective. Noise is at a manageable level, so I wouldn't have to shout. Yeah, I know. At this point, you just need to speak clearly. Tandy, I presume? Huh. It's not often a human walks up here to me like this. <laughs> 
I was told, or was implied by the bartender that you would have something to slake a certain thirst. <laughs> yes, the bartender told you that. Hmm. Huh. I'll he smiles. Sell, I'll sell to you, but I want to know why you're buying. Have you noticed any of your kindred spirits um, not coming in as they usually do? I have. I'm here to fix that. That's great. That's not why you're buying it. <laughs> I am enlisting the help of a powerful and hungry person. And who would that be? Oh. You know that hunting vampires is not really my expertise. I'm a translator first. That's fine. <laughs> it's not about doing something. It's about knowing. Who are you feeding? One of Kali's raiders. I want a name. He takes off his, his sunglasses and puts them in his pocket. I was given one. Not sure how correct it is. Uh, Chilovectin. The Shadow Man? <laughs> You're buying blood for a dead man. I mean, more dead than me. How so? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I like it. But, yes, I think I can sell to you for a hundred a pint. I have a thousand here. Fantastic. Ten for you. Throw in a little extra if you can give me a cooler. <laughs> I think that can be arranged. <laughs> and I mean, if you had another little tidbit to throw in my direction, I think I could offer you an even more significant discount. What do you want to know? What do you have to tell me? You want the, the people kidnapping your kind out of the city, yes? I'll take whatever little piece of gossip you've got. The more valuable it is to me, the more I'll chop off the top. Try Stop trying to appeal to my better nature. I don't have one. My mistake. <laughs> well, it does mean that you're honest. You don't deal with us very much. <laughs> yeah, they sent they sent an office boy. Uh, they sent an office boy when they should have sent an office man. Oh, pity. He does kind of bristle at that. That did hit a nerve. The Karma Club downtown. Uh, there's a contract between um, a Surtur and a Changeling there. Now that is interesting. That's why the Ragnarok's gone. I was curious. Noted. Well, now I know where to avoid. <laughs> All right, then. That is a very juicy little morsel. You just earned yourself half off. Enjoy your 20 pints, little boy. Okay. I'm going to 
not stick around any longer than is necessary. Ta-ta for now. Come back anytime. Thanks. Nice voice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and that's where we'll cut it. Right in my ears, Reynolds. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness! I'm sweating. Wow, she was she was creepy. Good. I definitely was... I definitely wanted to make it clear that she's fucking dangerous. Yeah, that's that's why Yusuf had to think real careful about what the mm. fuck he was gonna say. I got yeah. such like a like step into my parlor," said the spider to the fly. Especially the art too, the the necklace that she's toying with in her fingers. Yeah, very spider like. That is definitely what I was going for. 10 out of 10, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Also, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> uh-huh. How many men do you think get drained and mesmerized here every night? Many. A lot. 